Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. It's Stix here and I have absolutely no plan for today. So, let's figure that out. First of all guys though, I am going to show you this. Now this is automatically hooked up. Now we can place whatever we want in here. We'll go into here and automatically go into here and when it's made some stuff, this thing over here is going to just automatically spit it out. This is set, so I'll show you. Hopefully when we get some iron in here in a second, this should all come through. Good, okay. When this finally ticks, that's going to go. And as soon as it gets pulled out, guys, it's going to tick again. So you just got to give this a redstone pulse, and it will keep doing that. So then we'll get automatically the anything we put in there will come out here, and we don't have to do anything. We just need to put in stuff up the top here, and we will get it out here. So that is fantastic. That is all going good now. Uh, we're going to need to get like um, automatic lava and stuff going soon. But yeah, let's take a look at the advancements, guys, and let's see what we want to do today. So we probably want to start working towards like another prestige point. So if I look in here, these these don't look like it would be too hard maybe to get some of these. All of the trees. Okay, that that is quite difficult. Um, okay, so there's lots of different stuff going on here, guys. Uh, this looks very complicated. There's probably not a lot in here we can do. Um, Age of Exploration. Yeah, probably not. I'm not really sure, but... I think we want to get like our lava production up and stuff. We probably want to start working on getting some power as well. So maybe some of these challenges here could be quite good. It might be it might be the way to go, guys. So there's a few more here. Uh, what's this? Alloy tanks and stuff like that. Okay, this could all be very cool. Let's see. Alrighty guys, what we're going to do first is get a bit of an area set up. So I think if we go off in this direction here, let's place this down here. Let's grab that torch up and we can place it back down there just to make sure we don't get any mobs spawning. We'll build some stairs up here. I think we're going to move this. This needs to be moved. So we want to build another set of steps up here to a bit of a power area where we can generate like lava and things like that. And that'll be good because we're going to get um, a lot of power going for some machines soon. Because we're going to need power, we're going to need machines. And uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is actually... Oh, we got a wolf. That's interesting. What I'm going to do is actually pick up all of these guys. I think we can... Can we pick these guys up? Let me have a look. I'm not sure if we can pick them up or not. Uh, can, I, can I pick you up, Mr. Cow? No, can I pick up the, the pigs? Nope, that mod is not in here. I can't pick these guys up, so... We're going to have to move them somehow, but it's going to be in the way of the power place. So I'm going to build some stairs up to a little area here, and I'm going to move this, which isn't too exciting. So I'm going to do most of this off camera, and I'll see you guys soon. And we will make some lava generators today. Things that are going to make lots of lava. It's very easy to make lava in this pack because you just put four cobblestone in any cauldron, and it instantly makes uh, lava. So yeah, you can get it pretty easily. And then we can get, um, I think there's like the wireless, wireless, let's see what we got on the wireless list here. Um, yes, we got the wireless transfer node, so we got the item ones, and we got the fluid ones, so that is good. We can transfer um, them wirelessly, so we can transfer wirelessly to this, the porcelain tank, and keep this full of lava, which would be very good, and we can transfer it to other things, and I think there's also a lava generator. Um, I don't think it's called that, though which let's have a look quickly geothermic i think that's the one so we need a cauldron stone magma blocks redstone and a furnace how do we get magma uh magma blocks we need magma creams um how do we get that interesting oh slime balls and blaze powder okay we should be able to do that there should be a way for us to get blaze powder probably um a blaze rod Maybe we just need to run in the nether and kill one of those guys. That might be uh, handy as well. Or by the looks of it, we can do it this way and create these two. So quickly, if we just go back, we can get blaze powder with gunpowder and hellish matter. Or there is another way to make a blaze rod with a bone and this. And we need these overworldian matters and a bit of netherrack. We've got netherrack. How do we get these though? Simulation chamber. Okay, I I don't really know uh, what on earth this is, but we have the simulation chamber. Can we make that? Is it expensive? Um, the, this is all easy to get, and what is this? Um, what's soot-covered plate? Obsidian and redstone. Okay, interesting. We can make all this stuff. 
So we could make that as well. I'm not really sure how to do that, but we'll figure that out. Okay, guys, let's get some building done, and uh, I will see you guys back here. It'll, it'll be an hour for me, but it'll be literally right now. And like I said, guys, right now we have finished. It doesn't look that great from here, but it's pretty cool up there. We have also moved that paddock over there. I have not taken out this cobblestone yet, but our little wolf is hanging out there, so we're going to have to get him down before um, before that. I think we should feed him some bones, actually, and we could have a pet dog. That'd be pretty pretty damn cool. So we've got this floating air bridge here, guys. We have this little weird path that comes across here, just full of random planks and stuff. I moved our farm to the side here, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's that's just how it is now, guys. Um, so we come across this little bridge here, floating air bridge, and we have all our pigs and our cows. We probably need sheep and a whole bunch of other things as we carry on. But for now, I'm just going to leave those guys. And if we come up over here, we can go up to the side here of our, our dark oak little path. And we have an area here. So I actually recorded about four clips in between this one and the last one, but uh, they all kind of failed and just recorded half the screen, and I didn't really want to bother putting those in the video. So guys, we made some stone cauldrons here. We got a basic fluid tank. These are going to have cobblestone put into them by these cobblestone generators, and that's going to go into here. Now, then we're going to use wireless transfer nodes. So if we just type in node, uh, let's have a look. Type in node, it's a little bit laggy because it's the first time I've opened it. Um, Lured transfer node right there. So we're going to have to create this, which we're not going to get done today because we need shards and sponges and, well, we might. We'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to need to get those things together to create that. Um, and off camera, guys, we managed to get the copper sapling. Now it's one, is, is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes, copper acorn, guys. So we can now use this here to create copper amber i believe uh, so if we just type in and no we want to type in copper that's probably easier to find it there we go um, and then we can go in here so what we had to do was create the amber this way with red sand and to get red sand guys all you got to do is put water in a barrel and then put red dye in it and then you can put sand in it you can get four red sand um, and then you can just use the petrified the clay and the sand to get this then you can put that into your smelter and then put a uh, spruce sapling in here and pour the copper over it and to get spruce I think you just put a petrified into a thing of water It was yesterday when I when I did this so I'm just remembering everything I put in the other clips that are not useful anymore But anyways guys, so now we have copper and the reason we needed copper was to make fluid Transfer pipes right here fluid ducts. So we just need copper and Some some glass so I've smelted up some glass. I'm gonna put the copper up here for now So that should that should make us a few and that's going to help us pipe the the lava out of these into this. And this is going to be like our, our little thing. It does it only holds about 16 buckets, this thing. But it's going to hold enough for now. So that's pretty cool. We can come and grab lava whenever we want. Uh, we also made a diamond bucket. Which, as you can see, holds a lot of water. So you can fill this up 10 times. So this holds 10 buckets, guys. So I've got 10 buckets of water on me now in one item, which is awesome because I just can run around. Um, you can do the same with lava and pretty much all the fluids, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this should be making us copper now. Um, it sh should be. Did I untick this somehow? Let's see if it works now. Go on, flash. There you go. Okay, I unticked that somehow. So this just automatically will make us stuff. Oh, we've already got copper in there. I must have, must have done that before. So that's good. Now we can take these two and we can actually make some of the fluid ducts like this. Fantastic. Let's make some of those. And now we should, once we put uh, cobblestone, do we have any on us? No, let's grab a stack out of here. Um, once we've done that, we should be able to pipe this stuff out into our little... Uh, thing here and then we should be able to use the wireless thing as well so we should be able to get like that and let's put in some cobblestone and see if that takes it out do we need like servos or something Oop, that is not what we want to do can we click in there i think we need servos and things to uh, tell this thing what to do i have not used these thermal dynamics pipes for a while i usually use the ender io ones because they're very easy but it appears that um these, I haven't used these for a while, so I just I don't remember how to use them. I think we need to make servos. So extracts items fluids from something. So this is just an ordinary one. So this is just iron. That's easy. And then I think these are just faster. 
uh, extraction rate two seconds, extraction rate three seconds. One second, 0.5 a second. Okay. And these can take like 64 at, at, at a time. So I think we need to make these servos. Are these servos going to be fast enough? Um, how do we make these? So we just need glass, iron, and invert. Okay, we don't have that yet. So let's make a couple of servos really quickly. Oh, we can do that from here, guys. Let's remember not to run down there. Uh, oh, we need... What else do we need? We need glass. Wait, we don't have glass. We should have glass in the system. We need to make a couple of these. And we definitely have glass in the system. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I think it's just because you can put any type of glass in there. Okay, never mind, guys. We've run out of glass, so I have to come down here and uh, make some. We seem to have run out of sand. That is a little bit annoying. There is one of these is sand. Here we go. Let's make some sand here. Right here. Fantastic. There we go. Right, we got 12 more sand. Let's smelt that up. I think there's a bit in the system, but we always need some, so that's good. Once this creates one piece of glass, we can create what we want to create, which will be the servo, and then I think we'll be able to take that out. Uh, does it make just one servo? Because, uh, yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So I don't think we need a servo on the other end. It should just pipe it into there. So we can click on there, and then we can blacklist, use MBT, redstone enabled. Let's go ignore. And is that going to pipe it out? Ooh. I don't know why that isn't working. Okay, very interesting. I'm going to have to do some research now. Alrighty, guys, we have decided not to use those cables. We have gone for the cyclic cables now. So we've got a fluid extraction cable here, and then we've just got the normal cables here if we need them, which we currently don't because these get a little bit of cable. So any... Uh, if we throw any cobblestone in here guys, it'll just go straight into here now and basically we want to automatically put cobblestone into these So obviously this is only going to fill up when it can so if we put oh if we put this here Then we can come around here. I need a few more blocks actually put that there Then we should be able to break that out. Okay, very good And then we can place this here because we want to Oh dear that's not what we wanted to do, guys. But, um, anyway, I'll just show you with this one. Let's place the item extraction cables. And that should put it straight into there. Does that not work? How, what, why does that not work? Maybe maybe just a hopper works. Let's, let's see if just a hopper works. Um, I don't think I have much iron left in my system, but let's just make a hopper. Actually, we could just make a wooden hopper. There we go. That's probably fine enough. Let's just test it with this and maybe we'll get a proper hopper if we need to. Um, this is filling up with cobblestone, but it's not putting it in. Okay, we need some other way to do this. But at least we've got some more cobblestone now, so we can go up here and we can go here. Very good. So we need to put this up there as well. Oh, I left it down here. Wait, I thought this was upgraded. Oh, it is. Never mind me, guys. Just, just a silly person talking nonsense. And now I'm not clicking on anything right. Okay. So somehow we need to get them into there. Maybe if we pipe them into the side, maybe that works. Let's give this a go. Get these item transfer cables. No, they do not connect. Okay, we need some way of automatically clicking them in there. Um, what could we use, guys? There's like mechanical users and things in here, I believe. Let's have a look. Mechanical, what does this say? Squeezer, drying basin. Okay, it's not, there's no mechanical user. Let's type in user, see if there's anything. Um, automated user, autonomous right-click activation using any item. Uh, we do want to right-click, so maybe this is what we need. Obsidian, magma, dispenser, and gold. Okay, so again, we need to get these magma creams, and to get those, we need blaze powder and pink slime by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we can do anything else, so we can do this. We need blaze powder, and to get blaze powder, Bonsai tree, glowstone, 4% chance of blaze powder. Okay. Red nether brick, 15%. Um, hmm. You know what, guys? I think we're going to have to go this way. How do we get hellish matter? Oh, dear, guys. This is going to be crazy. Um, What else can we do? Do, like, vanilla droppers and dispensers work? Who knows? Let's figure that out first. That could be, that could be a way. 
Guys, we are in the middle of setting up our system here, but um, we have had to come back to the nether because uh, we've got we got Mr. Robot here, we killed him. Um, I didn't really show much of the nether last time because it was just me talking and almost dying a thousand times, so it wasn't really that interesting. I didn't really want to show everyone. Uh, I just died all the time. But we did just find a nice ore of nether quartz, but um, it is a bit laggy in here and it takes a long time to load the nether, guys. So just keep that in mind if you guys are playing as well. Um, now that we're going up here... We should there there is a uh, there's a blaze up here now I want to kill him because I want the the blaze rod because we really need the blaze rod so um, unless we find a magma cube oh there no okay we're on fire that's that's it we're out see you later it's very hard to kill these guys without um, without any fire protection or anything like that okay hopefully no one else is shooting me and there's another robot guy up there which doesn't make this any easier oh he can see me hmm. How are we going to get to him without getting caught on fire, guys? Okay, let's just dodge these. Okay, very good. Now let's take him down. We did hit him last time. Apparently not. He was at 100 health. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This guy's got a gun. I'm just going to run back to my hole. Hopefully we can dodge the rest of these. Oh, and we're, we're dead. Oh, okay. Well, that's my first death, I believe. Are we going to respawn in the nether? Nobody knows. Alright guys, we got our stuff back, we just, um, we had a little key which is really cool. Okay, let's see if the same guy is here, the same blaze. I think the guy with the gun is gone. No, these blaze are new. Okay, we're not going to kill a blaze anytime soon. Okay guys, I'm a bit dumb. We didn't actually need that quartz, but, um, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna do is put a lever here, and put, um, some redstone leading into the side of this. Now this should be on, um, the mode, so right, this, when this is full, it will turn this off but it if, if it is not full so let's just grab a bucket and see if we can make the thing not full mm, bucket that's what we're looking for make lots of weird noises let's grab this one and grab a lot of lava out of here so guys when we grab the lava out of this here it should turn this torch on because this won't be as strong as this coming in from the side and then this redstone up here should turn on the clock and the clock powers these droppers which drop the cobblestone into here so currently there's nothing in there this is on redstone required mode so let's just take a bunch out of here and it sounds like it's working and it's instantly getting filled back up again uh how do we how do we keep filling this i want to keep taking out of here this is very odd oh dear oh no 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 why can't i place anything there what the heck Okay guys, I have just realized we've filled up on our storage here. This is full of oak logs and so they started going into here So we've got a bunch filling up the space here uh, So the priority on these is to go into here lower goes first I believe so the prior oh hang on a second. I thought the priority. Yeah, it was five, right? So this is priority five So that means they'll go in there if if there's any number higher than five they'll go in there first That's the lowest and over here is priority 30 so they'll go in here as if that is full but guys, we need more space. So, I've just built this for forging hammer, which is actually not that difficult, guys. If you click here, you can see it's just any log um, with any slab, stone, sticks, and you can make this. Then you just place it on the ground, guys, and it will make an iron plate if you put two iron in there. And the thing will come down like this. Uh, it'll press it into a little plate here, and now we have four which is what we need for this. No, we need six. Okay, very good. Let's put in four in here and then see what that does. Uh, we've got more iron coming in here, so that's good. Fantastic. We'll let those two go. And then we can make the metal crate, guys. This thing should hold a lot more than the wooden crate, which is what we need. So we need a wooden crate and uh, those. So we've got one there. And, oh, you've got to take it out before it'll make another one. It's going nice and quick here, so that's all right. Take that out. Okay, we've got all six now. So we should be able to make this, put this in the middle, and put these here and here. There we go, middle crate. That's also a challenge, guys, so that's very good. We can place that here, and then we can move all the wood out of here into here. And we can change the priority here as well to be five. Okay, it is very good, very good. So what I'm gonna do is take all the wood out of here, and actually, let's take all of the wood out of the system. Uh, we got to move this first, actually. So I'll just keep on doing this, moving it over here. So we have a bit of storage now. I'm not sure how much this holds uh, compared to this one, but hopefully it holds more because uh, we've got a lot of oak wood coming along. And uh, whatever oak wood is left in this chest back here, we need to gather out as well. So gather all that oak wood. Okay, so we've got a lot more space in there now because 
uh, we were running out. So this holds... This is supposed to hold more. They both only hold 4.1k. What is the point? Does that mean we can pick this up? Oh, that's the upgrade. Okay, we can pick that up and move it. I see. Uh, I'm not sure we can do that with this one. Let's see. If we, if we break... Oh, we can pick these up and move them. What is the difference between these two? It, it's a challenge. Why? What? This block increases your capacity over the wooden crate. Well, apparently it doesn't, my friend. It's holding the same amount. That's very, very confusing. I'm not sure, guys, but we have a lot of wood up here. I just had to come up here and place it all in this chest. We got wood. Uh, it seems to only shift click from whatever side of the chest you're in because it's a it's a slightly different chest here. So I clicked in the top there. Very interesting. Um, actually, what we can do is just do this and then drop them all in there. Now we should have both crates pretty full now. Yeah, hmm. we got a lot of wood, guys. Hopefully we need it for something maybe one day. Oh man, how many E's am I going to press in there? I use E to get out of... Uh, chests and things. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys do that as well, uh, or if you press escape. Anyways guys, we can take this down for now. Break that. It's pretty damn cool, but we might just place it over here for now out of the way. Okay, very cool. Um, well, I thought this was going to help us out a lot, but it's not, and uh, these um, are the upgrades. So you can get a 4k upgrade here. So if we type in the 4k upgrade for this mod here, which is... oh, apparently it's not called that. Uh, let's just find the mod here. Uh, there we go. 4K. Oh, there's a 1K. I didn't notice that. Oh, we can make that. I thought there was only a 4K, and we couldn't get emeralds just yet. Okay, I'll make one of these guys and upgrade both of these barrels. That should be that should be good. Let's see see if we have enough stuff on us. No, we need to make a pressure plate. Let's make one of those. And then here we go. We got that. And now let's see. Do we just click that on there? There we go. So now we can take all this out of here and start putting it in there again. Okay, very good. We've got a place to store all our logs now. And that's good. I don't know how much extra space this is going to give us, but probably quite a bit. And okay, what do we need to do now, guys? We, we need to start working towards another prestige point. But I'm not sure which way we can go. Oh, there's even a 250... Uh, oh, these are... I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, anyways, we can um, have a look at some of these other things here. We need to do this. We could probably finish this. Not today, but at some stage. Um, some stage soon. Because I do want to upgrade to this fairly quickly, because storage is a pain. But I'm not sure, like, um, can we get all the stuff for this? So let's just say we wanted to make a drive, for instance. What do we need for that? We need the cables, we need iron, we need engineering process, we got to make inscribers, we got to get diamonds. Oh, this is all going to be quite difficult. I'm not sure we can get anywhere near that today, guys. Alrighty, guys, here we are back in the nether. We are all armored up, guys, so we are going to get some blaze powder. We need these blaze rods. So I'm going to make myself just a little staircase up here so that we can run up and down here. Uh, make Give myself some more headroom. I absolutely hate watching people on YouTube where they make their thing so they have to hop up and down the stairs. Oh, it drives me insane. I'm like, just dig out an extra block already. Well, I can just run up and down here, but they're like, doop, doop, doop on the way up and down. It's, oh, I can't stand it, guys. Got, got to fix that myself. Okay, so let's do that and, yep, take out a couple of these blocks. All right, we should be near the top now, actually. I can hear a guy. Let's try and find him. All right, we got one blaze rod, which gives us two blaze powder. Okay, we, we're, we're coming along here now. Oh, this should be helpful, actually. Oh, some guy's shooting me. Come on, guys, give me some, some magma cream. Oh, they just don't drop anything, do they, guys? They just do not. Oh, this is good, actually. Let's get some of this. We should get some soul sand while we're here as well, because I think we'll be needing all this stuff. This is going to be very helpful. Very good. We will need this stuff at some stage, I'm sure. So we might as well collect it. Well, guys, we've been bean boozled. I don't know how, but we got a magic bean. So apparently that was a challenge, and we've done it. So that's good. I just found it in a chest. Alrighty, guys, we have been doing a very long-winded process like this making red near the brick, then putting that in the grindstone, which is a 15% chance 
to get us blaze powder because I killed about 10 of those guys and I only got one blaze rod. It was starting to get ridiculous and I ran out of food. So anyways, guys, what we're doing is we've made the pyrothrium dust. Uh, that is quite difficult. Pyrothrium dust, right there like this. So we need the blaze powder, uh, which we had to, but we need more for what we're doing. So I'm currently in the middle of making the mag, uh, what is this called? Magma slime sapling. So that we can get these slime balls, because I need these slime balls to craft. Let's have a look. Uh, was it just there? I need that to craft this magma mud, which then I can then smelt into this thing. And then this thing is how I create the quartz sapling. And the quartz sapling I need because I need the quartz resin. So if we click, uh, well, I clicked on the wrong thing. Quartz sapling in here gives us the quartz resin. And I need the quartz resin to create the glowstone sapling, and the glowstone sapling makes more blaze powder. That's the trip that I am on right this minute. That is what we're trying to do. So, anyway, is this done? We can put this on here and then just fill the bucket like so. That should be enough to fill a bucket. It's not enough to fill a bucket. Okay, well, I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to get my red nether bricks now. Here we go, let's make more of these. I'm running out of nether wart, so we might need to make a farm for that. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So that's half a bucket worth. We need two more of those, and it's only a 15% chance to get it from these red nether bricks. What a grind, guys. I could... <laughs> what a grind. It's a grindstone. <laughs> I did not do that on purpose, I promise, guys. Um, we need... We could just go to the, the nether and keep killing things, but it was very dangerous. So I was about to lose all my things and fall in the fall in the lava and all sorts of things. So I'm just going to do it the long way, guys. And um, I'm going to have to make a nether wart farm now because this is, this is just taking forever. Okay, guys, we are currently going down the right hole here. We need to make an emerald sapling, which means we need to make nickel and die, uh, and this green, green slime crystal. Green slimy mud. we got to smelt that. Green slimy mud. I thought I just made that. Green slimy dirt. Oh, of course, guys, there is a difference. How do we make this? We need sand, congealed green slime, and dirt. Okay, but that's actually easier than what I was just doing. Okay, right, very good. Let's uh, let's keep chugging along, guys. We've got a lot of saplings here to make now. And the rabbit hole has come to an end. We've finally got the glowstone sapling. Now we can just plant this and wait to get blaze powder. Actually, let's, let's get a few saplings and things from this first. Let's plant this down, get the bone crook, and wow. I, I am tired now, guys. This was, uh, oh, it's not a bone crook, is it? It's a stone one. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sleep now, guys. This has been ridiculous. Guys, it's just falling from the tree. Blaze powder. It's amazing. I can't even remember what I wanted it for. I think I wanted to make magma blocks, right? I think we need magma cubes, and then we, we use the slime to make the magma the magma creams into the magma blocks, I, I believe. I think that's what we were doing, guys. I've completely lost my mind, but if we just come up here and grab some slime... Oh, actually, we need to change these into the normal slimes, probably. I'm not sure. Let's just do that. And then if we do this, we get these, and then I'm pretty sure four of these make a block. Oh my goodness, that's what we need. We just need two of those. That was pretty much what all that was for. Okay, well, we can probably almost make the uh, thing now what we're going to do is get a few more from this one here we'll just do this back to shifting and dancing around until we get enough of this stuff but we just need another two i believe there we go that's one and one more hello friend anywhere oh uh, there we go okay now we can use these two to make another two and then we can use those to make this and now i believe we probably are closer. I don't know if we can actually make it yet. Let's have a look. Let's type in generator. I keep forgetting what it's called. Geothermic. Oh, it looks like we can make that, guys. We can make that. Fantastic. Let's make a block of redstone. Uh, actually, I think there's some in there already. Let's make a furnace. Put that in there. And now we should be able to make this. Oh, my goodness, guys. There we go. Generator. I hardly know her. Look, I Again, there's a lot of references here I don't get. Now, we're not going to be able to make the wireless thing for a while. So what we're going to have to do is bring this up here and put it here and then pipe it in. Um, what happened? What are these things called again? We're going to have to get some more of these cyclic fluid extractor cables. Okay, we should be able to make a few of those. Fluid 
extract okay we've got the cables but can we make the thingamajigs there there we go can we make one of these okay we, i think we have the stuff to make it so there one of these and now we should have this very good and now we can place that on there no on there and i think if we get a redstone torch we can edit this thing so we need to go back in here and make a redstone torch there we go grab one of these i believe oh that is i've, I've got to stop doing that there we go i pick it out of my inventory while i'm using it i think we can turn these sides off like this no i want to turn this side off my friend that's like that and then like that okay very good and then we should be able to put a cable here like this and in we go we are making power i believe energy stored okay we're storing power guys we're making we're making power finally oh this is a bit slow let's uh let's turn this down so it goes faster maybe even five so we can keep this thing filled because this these it is very noisy but we should have that filled back up anytime soon because these cables have they actually store some inside them so it's probably just filling that up at this moment and uh maybe this is this is taking a while guys oh guys i finally figured out it's powering itself isn't it so we only want it to power to the sides if we turn all those off it should only power to the east wait is this east uh which difficulty i mean which direction are we looking that's north west okay so we want north and south only so north and south only the rest of those can be turned off okay that's why i think it was powering the redstone up above it up here and that's why it would stick on like that okay guys well this is good this is storing up some power now and we can use this power to um power things funnily enough funny funnily enough guys we can use the power to power things oh my brain's fried guys that was a long train to get here okay right so if we have a look in age of power there we go we should have completed a few of these we got a generator um i need speed there's a few things here we can do charge in my laser brilliant uh craft a tier one charger when given power you can charge items and other blocks inside of it okay that's pretty cool yeah so there's a lot of stuff here to do we need to get on with this so i needed these for something i can't remember what now but um i think we've probably solved it with this tree system going on here so did i plant the glowstone sapling no i, I didn't let's plant it in here so that should be going we're getting this stuff now we're getting nether quartz now as well we've got emeralds i presume we don't have to cast emeralds we just make them like this yes cool we can buy stuff off this guy now that's very good we can come over here and, and buy stuff off him all sorts of things if we need a tree ironwood sapling okay yeah trees uh there's a few things here we can buy but if we need any of these seeds we can come now so that is fantastic all that stuff we can unlock now with the emeralds i'm sure there's a lot more we can do with the emeralds but there we go guys okay well that was a mission and a half but we made it we're, we're making power now Alrighty, guys we are going to put our dry rubber in here to smelt now this is a big long process you need to make a true flu tree fluid extractor right here and that's going to take uh latex out of trees so you put logs in front of them uh this thing here is a block placer pretty easy to make you just fill it with blocks and it places them down as soon as it disappears then you need to make a latex processing unit you need to put water into it with a sink or you can wait well, you can just put buckets in it if you want i've put this here because it uh, puts more water in uh, i don't really know but it's holding water anyways um in the last mod pack i placed that just gave infinite water so i don't think it does it here and eventually this is going to use water and the latex to make tiny rubber dots then you need nine of those in a crafting table to make these bigger dots that i've just put in here and then you get the plastic so guys let's fill this in this is how we make the froster there we go we completed another challenge so uh only one of those machines down there actually need power and that is this one here so what i did was i got a gps so you type in gps guys like so you get the gps create it uh to get this you just need to make the light blue so you get your bone meal and um and your lapis and you make a gps then you right click on the block that you want to power and then you can put that up in the wireless transfer node up here this is a power one and i've put it right there so that's how that gets powered um this here is a froster so i believe we need to put water into this thing so we could just place this down here for now it's not gonna have any power so we're gonna have to get a gps as well 
but oh it's got fluid in it so it's filled it up from the sink yeah the sink does go down okay anyway that's got that um we want to make packed ice we want to make ice we need to make ice out of this water we also need to power this so i do have one more gps left um let's right click on this block here there we go down the bottom it says saved and now you can go up to here it's got no power but as soon as we place it in this thing we should be putting power in there we go it's going to drain that okay cool now we should have power down there and it should be making us ice out of the water we want to fill the sink back up when we can um no did that just take all the water out i'm very confused let's fill this up here we can get a more permanent water solution soon but for right now i'm just going to use this to fill the sink like this there we go and this okay we've got four ice so we can pause this thing now i think that's all we need for now uh no actually we're going to need a bit more so we're going to need eight i believe because we've got to make two sponges and i think we just need ice and sponge in a hydrator so what we've got to make now is the hydrator let's just make sure we get one more of these and then i'll turn this off so we're not wasting power or water there we go and now we're going to need two pieces of dirt but that is beside the point guys because we're going to need a hydrator uh that is pretty easy to make by the looks of it i've just smelted up some of this so we need two water buckets we can do that let's get these two this is what i just used a second ago so we can go over here and fill these up from our water source uh we got clay i presume actually we'll just probably have to make some oh no there's some clay blocks in there okay very good so hydrator like this should be able to make this guys uh, put that water bucket in there uh we need a block of iron okay very good now can we make this my friend yes we can uh does this need power i'm not sure it does oh it looks like it does need power okay let's go place it right next to the generator for now uh we need two pieces of dirt we can get that from our machine up here and guys i think we're going to be making the sponge can we power to the side of this okay we're gonna need a gps give me three seconds okay guys just saw this messes together we're gonna move all this eventually anyway but let's uh let's gps this take this up to the wireless transfer node one more time guys this is going to be it we're going to get the sponge finally which is cra crazy okay yep that should be dragging in and making as much as it can okay very good let's go check this out guys we are going to get what we want so then we put dirt here and we put ice here oh we only needed six ice i should have known that um is this is this working is it is it working guys always on recipe unlocked recipe locked minimum stack size one okay this doesn't appear to be doing what i want it to do i think we need to put water in oh yes we need to put water in it. it's a hydrator it hydrates things so let's fill up our bucket here one more time nope too fast very good let's place that in here that should have nope place that in there we go oh and two sponges instantly there you go guys we got the sponge fantastic i've forgotten what we want the sponge for i think we're building something that requires sponge but i've forgotten what oh that's right we want to create the fluid transfer node that will be next episode guys and we will have wireless lava floating around everywhere to like places like this and all sorts so that is great guys um that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please hit the like button and i will see you guys in the next episode of sky factory 4